Hello and welcome, this is Melskinner, and we're back with some more of the Multi Consumer Products playthrough of Solaris using the Megacorp DLC. Alright, let's keep going. We're upgrading things on our various planets. Okay, the food problem. Has been surveyed. Oh, somebody died. Oh, our general died. Well, age of 124, he or she lived to a ripe old age, but we weren't really using them anyway, so not that big of a deal. Uh, oh, I just finished the survey too. I was about to say, have we finished the survey yet? And the answer to that question is yes, indeed. All right, we might as well go over here and remember not to go there. Okay. Uh, still upgrading the fleet, so we'll have to sit on that for a little while. Probably could afford to upgrade the fleet in other places. Uh, so... Can't really do these guys because they're too close to another station. Let's go ahead and have this guy upgrade, because it's probably not going to cost that much. Okay. This costs a little bit of exotic gases, but we probably have plenty at this stage. Go ahead and do that. All right. I am really curious how much stronger this fleet's going to be. Research and, actualized. Oh, another research. Okay, some society research. Okay, administrative cap, for sure, because that would actually get me out of uh, the Empire Sprawl. Not by much, but it allows a little room for expansion, and we get rid of a lot of the penalties, and I think that's by far and away the most valuable thing here. As a matter of fact, it's so valuable, I will happily switch scientists here. So you are going to go there. And then the other guy is going to go there. Oh, what are we doing on our other technology? They're working on the antimatter reactor. That's going to take a little while because it's high tech, but it should help our ships be able to power up more systems, which will be yet another upgrade. Unfortunately, we just, <laughs> we just spent a lot on upgrades, and we'll have another one coming up once that finishes. How, how much more time is that going to take? Eight months. All right, well, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to afford it when it comes, but we'll see. Again, I want to be able to build new cruisers and get on that, but we're not really doing that at the moment. And obviously, it'd be nice to build up my stations as well, but... Oh, uh, one of our governors has died. That is a little bit more of a problem. Which governor were you? Okay, the one on Hicklum. All right, let's hire a new one. We are still losing energy credits, which is bad, but uh, not a crisis at the moment. Okay, Governor. Okay, what do we want? Do we want somebody that's cheap, or do we want somebody that has good, good abilities? Uh, ship build speed. That's interesting, but I'm not sure how that's going to help me if the station isn't in the same system. So I'm not sure if this helps empire-wide. I would imagine it's not empire-wide. So we would want to start building our ships in uh, Sirafe because I could actually put this governor there. That's a guess, of course. Uh, I don't really know if that's exactly how that works, but 10% off your ship build costs, that's probably going to help me quite a lot. So we'll go ahead and recruit uh, the younger of the two because they both have the same ability. So, yes. And then we're going to go to Groth, which should be in the Sirafe uh, Sira system where the Sirafe station is. Uh, the downside of that, though, is I just did an upgrade to build ships in Gorum. <laughs> and that would cost me way too many alloys to do the same upgrade here. So, was that the right call? I'm not sure it was. Oh well, we're still going to do it because I say so. Uh, there is no uh, shipyard on, on Hicklum, so... It makes the most sense to put that person there. Now, I will check that. As a matter of fact, I'll check it right now. So, Sirafe, I know you're working on something, but just, you know, for the sake of, sake of argument, uh, how much does a uh, 
cruiser cost? 510. How much does it cost on Gorham Station? Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's the same cost. So that does that does absolutely nothing. I don't understand the point of that that leader. Maybe it hasn't kicked in yet, but you only build ships at shipyards, uh, not at planets. I mean, maybe that was the way it worked at one time. That's where you used to build uh, science ships, and uh, if I'm remembering this correctly, science ships and colony ships and things like that. But you don't do it that way anymore. So this actually maybe ability that has been overlooked. Perhaps either that or it just hasn't calculated it in yet. Or it's applying everywhere. And if that's the case, well, maybe we... Oh, it is. So it doesn't matter where we put that person. That's amazing. Okay. Well, uh, I'm actually going to do a little bit more of uh, Governor's Shuffle then, maybe. Eh, it doesn't matter. I, I think it's fine. People will be a little less happy with this governor versus the other one, and this is like our most important planet. That's why I'm not sure, but yeah, okay. So that's actually very valuable. Does it stack? Because if it stacks, we might want to do that. Get rid of one of our, our, our other governors. Interesting. Okay, well, we have two things going on right now. We're losing food and we're losing energy credits. So we need to do something about either thing. We're currently working on a research complex, but as soon as that's done, I think I'm going to build an agricultural district here. So that is my priorities. And then we're, of course, going to move population into it to make sure that it is... Ships upscaled. Okay. So you're done with that. Uh, is there still piracy here? Yeah, there is. Okay. Then that definitely makes sense to move you back over here. Okay. Things to consider. Of course, I also want to upgrade that. Complete. Administration building, but the food's kind of a little bit more of a priority at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and build that. As far as energy credits go, we have ways to get those by moving population around. So, not a huge deal, but at the moment, I, I'm fairly certain we're maxing out our food production. I'd have to double-check that. Oh, we're not. Why do you keep doing this to me, game? Alright, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove one miner. Did you just go into clerks? No, don't go to clerks. Bad. Alright. This just makes my energy credit problem even worse. But you really want to mine, huh? Well, I guess that deals with a little bit of it. Um, what about over here? Is the same thing going on over here? No, you're maxed out farmers. What about in Hicklum? You're also maxed out farmers. All right. So it's just a, a, a problem on one of our... I could also move population if I wanted to. I, I kind of don't want to, though. <laughs> But yeah, like, I mean, I could do things to get that energy credits up, but I think I just made that situation worse. So, we'll see. Okay, these guys are continuing to expand. Now, the admin cap thing will help a little bit. Upscaling complete. But uh, the question is, can I wait as long as it will take for that technology to happen? It's going to be almost 20 months. We'll be out of money by then. Okay, if I remember correctly, it was upscaling here. Uh, I'm not really... Now we're even worse off for food. What the hell? I may have to... Yeah, see, this guy, he does not want to work as a farmer. And he's the only population that will move. I could probably afford to remove all my miners. Is 
Yeah, we'll just do that. It gets the farmers up. And that's, that's as many farmers as I have. So, that's what we're going to work on. As a matter of fact, we're going to we're going to run out of food very soon. Research actualized. Yeah, we're running out of everything. Jeez. All right. Okay, we finished that. We get more research alternatives. That's actually pretty good uh, because that could be a problem. We need our research facilities up. Also very good. And then also... Eh, not so keen on that. So these are both great. I, I think I'm leaning towards this because we've had a real problem with getting the things that we want. Uh, this is good. This, I think, is better. It's also cheaper, so it'll get done faster. Uh... Scientist-wise, it doesn't really, I, I don't think it matters. Uh, we already have a pretty good bonus here anyway. All right, so what am I going to do about our current crisis? I just don't have enough population. That's the real problem. And then the population is a problem because we're running out of food. <laughs> I mean, we can solve a lot of it with the market. Like, I can sell that. I can sell that. So we're all right for energy credits for a little while. And we go in, we buy in. Let's just say 500. And we go in, we buy in 500 food. That will allow, that'll allow us float for a little while. And it will hopefully allow the prices to drop back down by the time we need them again. And we can continue to accumulate these other resources to help us out. I think I know why the minerals are a problem, because we really upped our consumer good production. I mean, as you can see, it's really ramped up. That would, in theory, also deal with one of my other problems, which is currently getting energy credits. And we could do that through the corporate culture site. Uh, and that's going to consume... Like, it's always funny to say consume consumer goods, but it, that's what happens. And then, where else could we help out? Well, I don't think we need any more civilian industries because it's going to make a, a bad problem worse. The energy grid actually makes sense. As long as we have enough exotic gases to maintain it. Uh, it has an upkeep, but it also produces. So, it kind of balances out as long as we have the population to work it, which is another matter altogether. So... I, I think we go with this one, but the problem is I just eat a bunch of minerals to do that. So probably not the highest priority right now. And this gives me trade value. It gives me two extra jobs. The problem is this is a higher tier job, so we'll take from the lower tier. So I'm already severely short on jobs, and a manager is a high-tier job, so people are going to want to be there. Well, it's at least a specialist job, so people are going to want to be there, so they're going to go from the worker jobs, and that's where we need population, because we're really behind. I mean, we have two technicians. So the question that I have is, what would be better off? Would we be better off with technicians? Let's, let's say we take away from the technicians, right? Our, our hard-fought hard technicians. Not sure I want to go into mining just yet. I mean, it's not a huge deficit. The, the energy credits is a pretty significant deficit. All right, well, let's see how this has modified things. Because it's possible I really just haven't solved any problems with that. Future market survey uh, complete. It's a little bit better. Okay, our one survey is done. So we're going to want to uh, go somewhere else. Not going here. So let's go there. And then there. Make sure we don't go there. Okay. Yeah, so this is definitely a concern. 
And this is something that I always battle with. You get to a point where you are just reaching as far as you can go with what resources you have. Uh, really, our resource that is short right now is population. Okay, the anchor is almost done with his upgrade. I also have to consider the fact that all these buildings I've been doing has been increasing our up, uh, our upkeep, which is the reason why we're Ships kind of in the situation upskate. we are in. Okay. So we went from 5.4 to 5.9, so that is definitely an increase. I'm going to have to have you go over here. It's also quite possible by you being gone, we have had an uptick in piracy a little bit. Uh, so a little bit of trade value probably has been lost in the grand scheme of things. So having them go back over is going to necess uh, is going to help. But we'll just have to try and chip away at this problem, slowly but surely. Upscaling complete. Okay, that's actually good. That, that just means that we have a mutual rival now. I mean, we are already allied and in the same faction together, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Space amoeba hunters. Space amoeba. Okay. We could go down there and kill them if we really wanted to, but that doesn't really profit us too much. All right, so what are we going to do now? We still have things that we can upgrade. Like, for example, the administration building, which I'd really like to do. Uh, is there any upkeep? There sure is. Oh, it never ends, does it? Um, well, we did just get some population that can produce food for me. I'm going to close down the mines. That's probably a bad idea, but we're at minus uh, two, so that's not too bad off. And you went straight into clerks. All right, well, we can, we can deal with that ourselves. Our little slugs, they, they are pretty efficient miners anyway, because that's how we design them. And if I remember correctly, as soon as we open the mines, these guys will jump back down in there because they really want to be miners. Well, they can't be miners. They're just going to have to deal with it. Okay. So that should deal with my food problems, I would imagine. Although I'm not sure how long term it's going to solve them. Okay, so we are we are positive. So our chairman has just gained a positive trait. Or actually, maybe not. Yeah, no, I was going to say, we don't know that for sure. Gained a trait, it's negative, unfortunately. Okay, so now we have the issue of the mineral problem. The mineral problem. What are we going to do about the mineral problem? Uh, we could reduce our clerks, which makes our money situation worse. Uh, we have to keep in mind that we have mines that are closed, more or less. Only on Hicklum is all of our, our worker jobs being filled, except, of course, clerks, which are just never, never filled. Uh... I think the mining is kind of more important than the clerk jobs. It helps me balance something. So we are about to have another population point or two come. So you know what? Let's just let's just chill for a second. Allow that to happen. See what happens with that. Uh, we should have good trade value now. 100% across the board. Yep, that is intr indeed true. We need traditions to help us with our economy, I think. We've already done prosperity, so I'm not sure any of these other things are really going to help us in that regard. Maybe something in our ascension perk, because we aren't that far away from unlocking this stuff. What does this do? Starbase damage increase, starbase upgrade costs reduced. That's pretty good. That will help us in a lot of regards. This doesn't help us as much, so that would be, I think, a higher priority right now. All right. Let me check. Okay, so that one population point did happen. And you did go into being a miner, or somebody went into being a miner, so we need one more miner. I'm not sure if that population has calculated the difference with the minerals yet.
I'm gonna back off one farmer. I think we can afford that. And then, in not too much more time, we're gonna get a robot, so... Uh, I think we can maybe manage, but the food problem may be more severe, so we'll have to see. As a matter of fact, it is that time to go ahead and put a cut in the video. Let's take a real quick look at the war. Uh, this system may be new, but I'm not positive of that. This may be new as well. Still, these guys down here seemingly have done nothing during this war, but if they're getting continuously beaten, uh, you know, it's not going to really go anywhere with that. In any case, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.